So I just watched episode 2 of The Chosen and I actually got a little surprise after this video but first off I want to say hashtag shut Dallas up um, <laughs> I got my family right here but uh, I wanted to say that not because I want to be rude to Dallas but because we and he is trying to tell people about the show and if he gets a hundred million dollars you can shut him up he won't talk about getting the funds anymore because it's a free show because it's paid it forward so I wanted to leave a link down there um, also, spoiler warning for episode 2 of season 2 of The Chosen. Um, this is one thing that God taught me through this episode. So, um, it was a really good episode. I liked it. Uh, but one thing that mainly stood out to me is whenever Philip and Matthew were walking by themselves and they were talking, Philip was talking, Matthew basically through some of his past experiences and basically just the message that stood out to me was that we don't need to judge by the past we don't need to judge ourselves by the past and we don't need to judge others by the past um, and we need to allow God to use us where we are and that allow God to use us where we are part both came for both Matthew and Nathaniel because Nathaniel he he was seemingly in a dark place by the end of episode or during the middle of episode two but by the end he came to truly know god through jesus he at, he was under the fig tree sorry my words he was under the fig tree crying out to god wondering god why is this not working this is for you and I don't know if this is exactly what Nathaniel was getting at, but one thing that this kind of related to me with is uh, last year before COVID started, I was planning an event um, with a good friend of mine named Jordan Whitmer in my area, and I wanted to do it, okay, um, but if I'm honest, now that I'm looking back, um, it was an event to bring a bunch of teens to know Christ, but whenever I was doing it, now that I can actually take a step back and re-examine my steps, um, I don't really think I was doing it for the right reasons. I wasn't doing it in order to bring revival and so that others could be saved. That was the stated reason, but ultimately I was excited about the possibilities that could come with it and the possibilities of how it would build up my name instead of Jesus' name. And that's one way that I really related with Nathaniel because with Nathaniel, he, he was excited about having his Jewish name out there as a Jewish architect in a Roman empire. Yet, that was taken away from him. But because that was taken away from him, he was able to grow and come closer to God even through his pain he had to go through growing pains but because he surrendered even in the midst of a trial that surrendering led to victory so that's just one thing that I learned from uh, season 2 episode 2 of The Chosen uh, Dallas if you're watching this you guys did a great job um, I'm very excited about it uh, and I'm really excited about what you guys will be doing in episode 3 um, I'll see you guys soon.